everybody, I'm Jen Chicago, and you're watching The Soft. Ooh, scary. We also have the weekly lineup beginning October 7th. Some of my friends were very closely involved in the Chicago 2016 campaign, and they were pretty bummed this week. So I want to take this time to give them a little silver lining perspective. Hey, we don't have to host the party to be the party. And in 2016, we will once again be the life of the party. So congratulations, Rio. Enjoy it. We're still going to smoke you in the games. And speaking of games, I'm sure you heard about David Letterman playing games with the guy trying to blackmail him this week. Jeez. You know, I just don't have that problem. I mean, I don't have any staff. Still. So how about those Bears, huh? Go Bears! That's right, we won again. We beat the Lions 48-24 to on Sunday, and our next game is in Atlanta against the Falcons on the 18th. Now, those birdies better start working out those little wings, huh? I was invited on a wine tour last week with my friend and joint regular, Teresa Carter, who is also the owner of thelocaltourist.com. Love her. Anyway, PR company Wagstaff rounded up a few Chicago influencers and showed us Cooper's Hawk Restaurant and Winery. I'm such a fan. Along with all the other benefits of wine, we got a buzz. And I think we all know that that's really the best benefit of all. Joe Piscopo was on a late night talk show this past week plugging the variety show that we are preparing to shoot here this month called The Joint After Dark. And by the way, it looks like Joe will be here on the 17th of October. And did you know that in the late 80s, he, along with Eddie Murphy, are credited with saving SNL? Skits like this will always be remembered. I am dark and you are light. You are blind as a bat. <laughs> The shooting of the reality show From Russia with Love was a huge hit this weekend. After the bachelors were interviewed about finding love in Russia, they stayed all night and found love at the joint. Especially this guy. You know you wanna be on the wall. Well, you can. As far as we're concerned, you are the celebrity. So mail in an 8x10 black and white picture of you and whomever to us here at the joint and we'll do the rest. Almost anything goes, though we do reserve the right not to frame and post every single one because some of you are weird. Marcus Riley from NBC was in this weekend with some of his vacationing buddies and we had a great time. One of his friends had a really great time watching the pretty ladies from Groove Dynasty performed. We're talking... I love Chicago, I'm going to move here, kind of great time. Happy birthday, Raul. DaddyOutpost.com is live. With the help of buddies Larry Dell and Luigi Tartara, Christian Benedetto launched the new website this week in beta mode. They're still looking for writers, so if you are a great dad and want to write about all things dad related, check them out on DaddyOutpost.com. Mmm, Halloween is coming, and I already have my costume to wear to the party. It's it's, it's not these. Um, so what are you doing for Halloween? You totally have to come to our Monster Mash Bash. We'll have tricks, treats, a costume contest, dancing, and always more. To show you how very much we want you to come to the Halloween party, Stan, Paul, Corey, Mike, and myself spent months making you this little video, and I am so in trouble for it. Please enjoy, because I'm pretty sure the guys aren't going to. I'm talking in the lab late one night When my eyes beheld an eerie sight When my monster from the slab began to rise And suddenly, to my surprise He did the monster mash He did the monster mash It was a graveyard smash It caught on in a flash He did the mash He did the monster mash From my laboratory in the The ghouls all came from their clothes to get a jolt from my electrodes. They did the monster. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. They did the monster. By the way,
way, you can make your own video at orientaltrading.com or be one of the first five people to comment on the sauce this week and we'll put you in next week's Halloween dance. Jeff Corder from WTMX The Mix was in this weekend giving everybody costume suggestions for Halloween. Jeff, I love you, but I am not gluing eight Cabbage Patch dolls to my body and walking around as Kate. It's just not going to happen. So that was the sauce, and here's the weekly lineup. On Wednesday, Tanya Kelly. Thursday, Dakota. Also on Thursday, we're opening up the downstairs with DJ Cy Young. If you have ever heard him before, he is awesome, so come check him out. On Friday, Steve Biasat and Kenny Patton. Also, DJ Jack and DJ Architect. And ladies, it's Flirtini Friday. On Saturday, we have Tanya Kelly and Dakota, along with DJ Jack and DJ Clockwise. On Sunday, we have Sunday Night Live. It is turning into quite the Chicago Bears after party. On Monday, we have Isa Manouche. Tuesday, Fat Finger. And then we'll see you back here next Wednesday. And of course, we have some friends with birthdays this week. Happy birthday! So happy birthday to Kim McAuliffe, Jeremy Morrison, Carrie Taylor, Dave Clarkin, Joe Perillo, Mark Buo, Robert Conway, Bry Williamson, Erica Swansea, George Cardenas, Keith Strass, Jeff Hoover, Jenny Sepulveda, Art Cerda, Daisy De La Cruz, Bud Eckert, Dante Diana, Roseanne Tellis, and of course the co-owner of the joint, Paul Babcock. Ladies, come in and give Paul a kiss this week. It's his birthday. And that's it for this week's edition of The Song. Right. We hope to see you soon and often. Come to your time in the joint. The Sauce. Yeah. The Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do it again.